We also have the SBDC, the Small Business Development Centers. Another, we help fund them like we help fund SCORE. SCORE is all volunteers, but the SBDC are professional paid advisors. So they're more into businesses like yourselves who are existing, who want to grow, or who want to hire people, who want to um, go into another area of uh, business. So they're wonderful too, and they're all over the state. Yeah, yes? Well, that was my question is where are they located throughout the state? They are everywhere. I think we have 26 centers. Uh, we have about six guys in um, the Seattle area, Auburn, Bellingham, Eastern Washington. Um, it's all on their website or on our website, but, and each counselor's kind of has their own specialty. So if you're looking for, um, you have a new product, we have a guy who, that's what he does. He really is into innovation and technology. Um, we have guys that are into management, uh, helping you develop a management plan or a business plan for your office, whatever. So if, if I'll leave my cards. If you guys want to contact me, I can try and match you up with appropriate counselors. What's the name of that program you're doing? Small Business Development Centers. Is that for you as well? Yes. And the other uh, counseling organization we have are the Women's Business Centers. We have three of those in Washington, Western Washington, uh, Seattle, Everett, and Tacoma. And it's not just for women. They have about 20% men as their clients. Um, it's another counseling opportunity for people, uh, more for startups, but um, they have a really great programs uh, training as well. And I hope you all know about the PTACs, the Procurement Technical Assistance Centers. We don't fund them, but Department of Defense does. And they are fantastic as far as helping small businesses figure out how to do federal contracting. How to get your DUNS number, how to get your CAGE number, how to become a hub zone firm, how to become an 8A firm. Um, they probably work on the state of Washington as well, certifications. And uh, they're just a wonderful partner. We couldn't do what we do without them. So, uh, Just a little bit about contracting. Our third C, that's probably why you're here today. Um, every federal agency has small business goals. 23% um, of their dollars are supposed to go to small businesses. Uh, last year, the government got a B. They did 22.66% instead of 23%. And they haven't quite met that 23% goal yet. So uh, women-owned small business is supposed to get 5% of the dollars. Uh, small disadvantaged business is supposed to get 5%. Hub zone businesses are supposed to get 3 And service disabled vets are supposed to get 3 And the only one that's been met is the small disadvantaged business. And I think that's a large part because of the 8A program. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I'll, yes? Are the figures that you just gave us, are those national or are those regional? Those are national. I got them off of the federal uh, procurement data source systems. The only reason I ask is because um, I've, I've heard from actually somebody at SBA that regionally all of the goals have been met. Hmm. I didn't know it was broken down by region. That would be interesting. I mean, that's what I was, uh, I was informed. Okay. Yeah. So, but anyway, well, we're kind of lucky. So I was asking the question. You know. Yeah, we're kind of lucky here because we have the big bases, uh, right. Fort Lewis and the Navy and the Corps, and they use our 8A programs. Um, the Forest Service uses the hub zone programs, so I think maybe you're correct as far as... Um, and if you get, yes? Well, a, a question regarding the certifications and stuff. Um, have you guys reconciled the idea of using DVE certification, recognizing that across? I don't think so. Are there, are they in talks? No, there was reciprocity at one point yes. in time, but because of the different size standards, they used to accept one application for the other, and then we just 
everybody's kind of threw their hands up because when you'd request one and get the other, you'd still have to ask for more documentation. So the firms mm -hmm. would get even more upset. So, yeah, so we're talking about the difference between a disabled the, the, or a uh, disadvantaged business and a disadvantaged business yeah. enterprise. Right, and the SDB, federal versus yeah. the state. State, yeah, it, it's a mm -hmm. washed out versus the rest of the. Yeah. Country. <laughs> I do remember the reciprocity thing, and I remember uh, one or the other was supposed to make a whole copy of the file and send it to the other agency, and it just didn't work out. Yeah, I know. Um, but under this Federal Data Procurement System website, it's available to anybody. You can find all sorts of wonderful information. Um, like I found out, who gets the biggest, has, has the most amount of contracts with the federal government? And number one is Lockheed. Two is Boeing, three is General Dynamics. You know, you can keep going on and on. But if you're looking for who does business with the government and you want to do business with them, this is the place to look and, and find these names. Uh, we also have a list of locally um, uh, federal agencies that um, with their small business specialists, and then we have a list of prime contractors who. Uh, do business with the government. So you can contact these people and try to get in on their federal contracts as well. Uh, the agencies that spend the most, that's another interesting one, was of course DOD, then Department of Energy, Health and Human Services, Homeland Security, and NASA are the top five. So they have lots of money. <laughs> can you repeat? Can you repeat that list, and can you also repeat the list of those vendors that those top vendors that are receiving the, the largest amount? Sure. This is, I want to make sure everyone hears this because this was a big, big item. One of the main reasons why we had to do it here. So I want to make sure well, it yeah, it's always good. You can do your research. Um, the P tax is another good place to help you learn how to do your research. Uh, but Lockheed Martin is number one. Boeing is number two, and we're fortunate to have Boeing here. Uh, General Dynamics, uh, Northrop Grumman, and Raytheon are the top five. I have a question. Uh huh. Uh, I'm in uh, Bukitio Speedway, right next to the Boeing field, you know. And uh, I went to their seminars and so forth. I tried to get the, some business from Boeing. And uh, they met the uh, office of minority, you know, enterprise, whatever, right? And uh, I contact them; they never return the phone calls. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, Boeing's so big that it's. So, can you uh, you your good office and maybe uh, have uh, some facilitate the uh, you know to meet the small guys like us? You know what I mean? To yeah. uh, the Boeing people. When I uh, uh, make a contacts and uh, different, what do you call the offices, you know, they say you go there, you go there. I just uh, spend for three, four hours, just go around, yeah. and wait for phone calls, right? Well, there's like ten ways in, you know. You can get into the technical people, the the contracting people, the small business people. So. I, I used to work there, so <laughs> so you come talk to me. I'll show you how it works. Oh, oh excellent! <laughs> is Ida still there? Huh? Is Ida still Ida worker? Yes. Yeah. Ida is who you want for construction. Yeah, you want. we've. I've been in, hanging around Boeing for a long time. Okay. I don't get any work from them, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know everybody. But, I, but, but we know you know we I dealt with them for four or five years straight. Ida Walker is dynamite, and she. She has a helper, a gentleman, a young guy. Now he, Ida would return the phone calls. He you have to understand how the procurement system works at any organization, yes. mm -hmm. and because they're they're so spread out, because they're not just cent they're not they're decentralized. That's the issue. So if you're in constructions and things like that, then then it's in this this area in Renton. But if you're looking for other types of stuff, it could be in St. Louis or Philadelphia or or. Uh, you know, Florida, or even in China, so. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll contact you then. <laughs> Thank you both. And the other, the, uh, the agencies with the most money, Department of Defense, Energy, Health and Human Services, Homeland Security, and NASA. So I just wanted to talk about 8A. Does everybody familiar with 8A, or? It's been around since the 60s. Um, it's a certification program. It's kind of our flagship certification program. Um, 
Firms need to be owned by socially and economically disadvantaged individuals, at least by 51%, um, be U.S. citizens, not be overly wealthy, uh, own and manage and run their own business. And it's a nine-year program. Um, it's worked wet very well for some people. They've become very successful. Um, other people, it doesn't work so well for maybe because their product or service or business doesn't isn't easily purchased by the government. Um, construction seems to be really good. Uh, services seem to be really good. Um, and some professional services. Um, 